Welcome back and today we're gonna take a look at Yas. Most of you know him, he is a Iranian Persian rapper and uh, the song we're gonna take a look at is Lal. It's an older song but I don't know how old because on his official channel it got released half a year ago but I know that Yas um, like had many old songs that got released on his official channel later on because he was basically not um yeah i think he didn't have an official channel and uh, so we're gonna take a look at this song um after the intro Yas was on the channel earlier, uh, he had a lot of political content, that's why I'm actually going for this without someone's telling, like, okay, I had a couple of comments, I can show you them, but they are older, and uh, it's not referred to the actual political, like, to the, to the political situation right now, it's actually probably because he's making political music about the general situation in Iran before the revolution started, and that's what we're gonna take a look at now. It's so dusty. I guess it is in Iran. مثال علف هرس خبر رو میپیچه به دورم و به گوش من میرسه اینا میگن لال شدن آزادی بیان مد شدن به جگردار شدن و این Freedom of expression became fashionable everyone became fearless Okay So maybe the song is even really from half a year ago um, because like I, I don't know how should I say this but uh, people people like uh, want to want to have freedom and and uh, everyone become fearless in front of like the the um, the forces that are oppressing them right آزادی بیان مد شدم جگر دار شدن و این ترسناک ترین روال خفه کردن که فشار دستا رو حس نکنی پس گردنت و اما تو یه شاکی از سر دغدغه که پشت پرده دست قنوتی تو صفحه اول یعنی ش... who is look and this is this is actually very obvious who is praying in the front row behind the scenes this is really interesting the picture uh, praying is of course referred i guess to the to the muslim authority who's praying in the front row at the front behind the scenes so bo both actually actually hmm. i mean how can we put this in context your your plaintiff is out of concern who's praying in the front row behind the scenes Okay, let's see. Maybe, maybe we find out what, uh, how he, how he means. Just sare dag dag ki pochte par de dasto gunuti tu safa vale yani sharaf dor doshman zar sad mar tabe bein. It means the enemy has thousand and hundred times more honor because of praying. It sounds like it's sarcastic. Sharaf dor doshman zar sad mar tabe bein tu de khosh istiqbal bad bad rade. Then this, okay. I think he's sarcastic about like he's speaking from the perspective of um, uh, the Islamic regime. This is what I take from that. Uh, like they have way more honor than this well-received and badly escorted mass. He's talking about the um, Iranian citizens, I guess, right here. <laughs> They are, now he's saying they are tyrants. Now he's turning it around. A country where any problem can be solved by flirting. I think... I mean, you aren't allowed to dance and to kiss in public, so flirting probably not allowed as well. So it might be meant that when you flirt in public, like you you just express your freedom. On the other hand, it can mean 
when you're flirting, you get punishment for this. And this is the solution of the Islamic Republic, right? Okay. سمت ما به همت و صبات این کله با لاستن شمارم نمیشه بس حتی با ماست لق قرچی غافیه وقتی محتوا رو بی محتوای و صبار گل مبتلا Content is based on contentless and affect people such as Look, he's, sp he's speaking about uh, Content that is contentless right here And now we see what, he's, what he means Includes old young teenage brain جوان مقص و جوان راه من جدا پی سب که خود کفار رای این کلمه برام تعریف مرسیه که بینمون کشیدم این This one is, this one is even like this word For me this world defines a border Rai What is Rai? I don't know what it is کفار رای این کلمه برام تعریف مرسیه که بینمون کشیدم این یه تعلیف اصلیه سمر یک سال سکوت توی مغزم رست شد باید هم مصرف قد به من بفوست شد I must like he said I was silent I didn't like produce music probably it means I must be cut off consumption and connect to I'm ah, okay so he's stepping back from consumption consumption even like in producing and in consuming for himself and connect to the source okay من بفوس شد و اما تو خوب میشناسم تو رو از توی خودت میکشم بیرون و میندازم جلو نه براندازش کن خودت براندازش کن من چی نگم بهتره به خودت نیست پارم تو رو برو با really cryptic what he's saying it's better for me to say nothing i leave yourself to yourself so he's actually speaking a little bit about his own struggle and identity as an artist, I think, in here. Okay, okay, this one I get way more. Because when he say, you said whoever is high has a connection to someone. Favoritism, that means basically if you're uh, having connections to the higher ups in Iran, you are supposed to be successful. If you don't, you can't reach anything in this country. Okay, it's really um now these the what he what he was rapping about now I didn't really understand I have to be honest like um I think the beginning this was what I understood we came up here in a dangerous and risky way with the music um that is not even in your imagination people who are not living in Iran can't imagine how dangerous it is to make rap music probably if you're there um and uh, he made much music, hard work, was empty-handed. He didn't receive any result from this. No money, no, uh, I mean, nothing he could live from, basically. It has now become a tourist attraction. I think it's, when he says that, he's, it's referred again, like the, that he criticizes the music scene itself, like, uh, that basically means okay the people who, are, who get successful in iran um make invaluable music i think this is what he means right here حالا تبدیل شده به جاذبه توریست نما یا در حقیقت هرون ساده هایی که رو این میراث با میخ نوشتن یادگاری وقتی حتی بعد بوم بعدم سوست نمرد نخال زنده است تا از زبال تان تاریخ زاهر و واتنی پشت روی زاهر انگرست نیستی باطن انگشت خوی you are two-faced person. You aren't hungry in your appearance. You are starving inwardly. So he's basically saying, um, you're you're in, like from the inside, you're uh, you have nothing. Like you, there's not a heart in in inside your chest, right? And um, still talking about like these uh people who make meaningless music. I think. Okay, 
اون که نرده بونه زیر تو شکون من نبودم اونه که بهت تو دینشو چه پ... Um, I didn't break the ladder below you that was who compact his religion into you. So basically, the one who destroyed the humanity in you was uh, someone who was religious. And this is pretty much referred to that, um, yeah, we have a Islamic regime in Iran, a dictatorial regime, and um, basically the religion destroyed your humanity because the regime is inhuman and um you gave up your character for the religion and this is pretty much this is uh this is a specific thing in iran that we have actually a lot of anti-islamic thoughts um what i can understand because the government is really cruel and um they don't represent islam as all this is what i think من زیستن رو نوشتم تو زیست تو بخون من اگه خطر میکنم میخرم ریسک شو به جون درست شد؟ آها من اومدم که نرم این ناگفته ها میخوان مغزم و از سرم بکنن اگه بخوام از اعتبار و شرف بگذرم که الان باید نصف این شهر و سند بزنم I have a document half of the city in my own name یه دریا بنزینم در پی جرق زدن سرم I'm a head look and this uh, this speaks for I'm a sea of gasoline leading to spark i think he's now he he's kind of describing how he's going insane right now this is the feeling i'm getting right here um because of um yeah because of these he's angry about these people who make meaningless music who are working for the government No, I worked so hard and never got something out of it. They smell the pages before the music gets released. Okay. So basically what he's saying right here is what you do is makes you as a person, right? Like your deeds, what you're what you're actually doing, this is what defines your personality. تو دوره ای که هنرا رو بیلیت میکنن بازی کنا تیم خودشون رو دیریب میکنن آدم خاکی باشی بازم گلید میکنن مسئول ها برعکس وعده هاشون کلید میخورن Contrary to their promises, authorities are eating the key They do not keep their promise Oh, okay So um, I don't know if Yas ever I can't imagine Yas like once um, Trying to work together with the government Um I can I can just imagine this general thing like when you when you uh do what they want from you what the Islamic regime wants from you they promise you something for that you do what they want from you but they never fulfill their promise so basically I mean that leads towards what we have a situation right now empty promises and we know whatever the Islamic regime will promise to the people to end this revolution they won't stop <sighs> I mean oh, wait, wait, wait. I want to see this maybe they make you a minister and when they when they work got done they make a plan and destroy you okay قبل از اینکه به دستی ساهای کسی فکر کنم باید بدونم که این بازی کسی فکر کلنم میان برو ترجیح ندادم به مسیر بلند میخوان تو لحظه فقط تو رو اصیلت کنن هنرهای مصرفی وسیله شدن ولی من الهام میگیرم از روح اصیل خودم با کلی So right in this part he says like uh, He stays true to himself He took the long road uh, He could take the short road but he took the long road to keep his personality right 
and uh, to be to to stay honest to himself. I like I want to go on this line real quick because I think it's a very nice picture. They want the light of the stage, but I have a candle in my head. I mean this is basically a candle is the I mean basically I can can I touch this? Look, I have I have a candle right here. Can you see this? Uh it's the smallest possible oh no. That is not good. I, it's the smallest possible light, basically. The smallest possible light source. And um the 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 light on the stage is probably the biggest you can have. So he prefers the candle in his head over the light of the stage, basically. I think this is a very nice picture. <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, it says the artists on the right, the statesman's on the left. Uh, okay. Work at night. I wonder if he means like the artists who work for the government or he means artists against statesmen's. But actually, why, what he's talking about so far, I think they are actually. Um, working together in here and uh, what he's saying there was a reference explanation i think to arsh i heat the throne of each beat of arsh and that's his producer nice okay تو عصر پاچ خارا فقط کله میخورم شک نمی کنم که واسه تنها سلاح باوره که دشمن سکوت فق زف الاخر the only the only my only weapon is belief and this is actually weird to say that because yas working against the islamic regime right but he says my strongest weapon is belief and belief is not meant like religion is meant like what I like my what what I'm um um convinced of, right? Oh the enemy silence is poverty, weakness, and so on. The enemy of ah the enemy of silence is poverty, weakness, and so on. So basically he's saying when we are poor and weak, we will not stay silent. I'm just taking that from there. Hmm. I, honestly, I didn't say anything about the musical, uh, about the musical part right here because I think it's really about the lyrics in Yas' case and the beat is is really just for spreading a message, right? I came to not leave. Nice, some scratches. All right. So, I think that was interesting. It was something different. It was not about the up-to-date protests. It's about more the general thing of uh, Yas as a musician, I think. And uh, but to has to be seen in the context of in Iran how the how the circumstances are there, and um, it was really strong. I liked it a lot. If you want to see a music video where I'm involved in, watch this cipher right here. It's um, in, produced by Ami Docs and uh, includes many, many rappers from all around the world and myself as well. So please check it out and see what we did there. And right above, you can find my latest reaction on Iranian rap. That might be interesting for you as well. I wish you the very best. Stay healthy, stay well and farewell.